Did you kill Kalen? Kalen's death was his own doing. Well, things aren't going so great in Denerim. Let's see if they're doing better for us. How did a child survive that? The crater is still smoking. What are you on about? It's a boy. Five fingers, five toes. That's all that matters to me. The Maker has answered our prayers. Is it going to be Let's Superman? Let's go home, Marta, and raise the Tyke as our own. What? Don't name him Clark. What the hell are you on about? Freaking kid came out of the meteorite. Pile of ore? Meteor metal ore? Is that gonna is that gonna do anything for me? Doesn't give me a codex, doesn't give me a quest. What the hell is going on? We we have just found a crater and we're gonna mine it for ore and we're moving on? Is that seriously it? What the hell is going on? I don't understand. Fine. We'll find out more about this later, possibly. Let's just head back to the world map and we can continue on our way. Let's go to the mages. That is our next destination. What the hell? Oh, that's a, it's like a lake. Okay, yeah, it's the same lake. What am I talking about? Of course, it's Lake Kalanhad. Give me the death root. The elves love them some death root. They need it for You things. ever wonder why the mages built their tower out in the middle of Lake Kalanhad? They have an aversion to practicality or something? That's a good question. I was kind of hoping for a snarky answer from Morgan, but it did not come. What's up, Carol? You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. You kind of look like Alistair. Well, at least your hair does. Why? I need to get to the tower. No one gets to the tower. No one. The tower is off limits to all. Uh, uh, this is official Grey Warden business now. Take me there. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. How do I, I don't know how to prove it. Prove it. Kill some darkspawn. Come on, let's see some righteous Grey Wardening. Don't be ridiculous. Aha! Oh, I knew it. I bet you can't even sense them. A real Grey Warden is supposed to be able to sense darkspawn. I can't sense any now because there aren't any here. Well, that's good, I suppose. Wouldn't want dark spawn smeared across the landscape. I hear their blood is black. Is that true? You'd know if you were a Grey Warden. No, it's red, like any other blood. I don't know. My instincts tell me dark spawn shouldn't have blood like ours. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go. I warn you, my patience is wearing thin. Well, good things come to those who wait. And maybe you should wait a little longer. Not that I'm saying I'll eventually let you in. You're a dick. Your superior won't like that you've given me trouble. Oh, really? You think Gregor would be upset with me for not letting you in? Wait, actually, he would. Good point. Yes, he'll be very mad if you don't let me in. He's the big guy around here. I bet he could deal with one Grey Warden. Alleged Grey Warden. Well, you want that I should take you there now? This guy's not so smart. Yes. Come along, I suppose. Well, that was pretty easy. So I have uh, intimidated and persuaded my way into the tower. More persuaded. Intimidation didn't really work. Yes, I keep a rogue in my party. My guy is a rogue. Thank you. Uh oh. Surprise, surprise. I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, things, sir. Yeah, things aren't going well here, apparently. The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. You're Gregor, I assume. It's, it looks weird for Gregor. Who are you? I explicitly told Carol not to bring anyone across the lake. We're dealing with a very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. I seek the mage's help to defeat the Darkspawn. 
I am weary of the Grey Warden's ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn, but it is their right. I need mages, damn it. You'll find no allies here. The Templars can spare no men, and the mages are indisposed. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. What's going on? Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. That's no good. This is why we cut the tongues from mages in Parvolan. I will admit to agreeing with your companion. Maker knows the Kunari would not have gotten themselves into this position. Sounds like the Templars haven't been doing their job. My men did what they could, but it wasn't enough. They took us by surprise. We were prepared for one or two abominations. Not the horde that fell upon us. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Why don't you just rally your men and kill them all? That's a good idea. I will destroy the tower, raise it to the ground. But I cannot risk more of my men. The doors remain shut, and they will protect us for now. Uh, has nothing emerged yet? No. And perhaps the Maker smiles on us. We do not mean for the doors to stay closed forever. Everything in the tower must be eliminated. I have sent word to Denerim calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The right of annulment? The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Completely. The Mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. Why wait? I could go clean the tower out now. Uh, uh, God. Fine, yeah, I'll do it. I assure you, an abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. Abominations cannot stand against me. If you succeed, I would owe you much. Enough that I would pledge my Templars to your cause. I want the mages. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. Right, of course. Is that all you can offer me? We have nothing to offer you, but gratitude and service. Crap. I have heard the tower holds many valuable artifacts. I expect we'll have to consider them lost or destroyed. That's good enough for me! A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. No I don't believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. So Irving has to live. Hooray. Now, give me stuff here. That is, that is my main objective now. Oh yeah, you're doing good. Shut up. Nobody cares. What's in your vase? Acolyte staff? Uh, we'll, we'll check it. I did buy a shit ton of flasks and distillation agents. We will use them. And I hope it'll do well. I don't think that's as good as what we already gave My Morgan. They burn. It's yes, we've heard that before. So I'm going to drop a save here. And I'm going to make all the poultices that I need before we head in. Are you up for this, Morgan? Okay, didn't make nearly as much as I was hoping for. We are yeah. up to nine now. Uh, I also went to the quartermaster here and bought some stuff. Nothing that great, except I did get a backpack. Backpack is nice, so I now can hold up to 90 pieces. Let's go through. Oh, the Templar thinks we are doomed. And we very mal very well might so be. are you going to continue staring at me as if I am covered in eels? Eels would be something. Prudery. How charming. I expected paranoia. This is much better. I prefer to be stared at lustfully, if at all. Whore. Keep trying, then. Oh, snap. Oh? Then shall I demonstrate an act or two? And you may tell me, hot or cold? I'll save time. 
cold. <laughs> you are a tease. Wow. Who knew? Morgan and Sten. Who knew? Uh, Vanity. Oh, fruit. I can always use that. Make something out of that. Hoping to make more poultices, but uh, that requires a lot of elf root. Three for a regular poultice. Is there really nothing else in here? No, here's something. Here's something. In the chest, once again, the same acolytes staff that I assume is not very good, but I get the experience for unlocking it nonetheless. I saw. I swore I saw something shiny over here, but doesn't look like it. So let's just move on. This room is completed. Let's go around the circle. This is the circle of, of magi, after all. If there's not going to be enemies, this is going to be fairly right. easy. Charm of Stillwaters plus one. That'll sell at the very least. Those things sell pretty good. As far as I can tell, the charms. That one's not very good, though, which kind of implies that I probably should have come here first. Even though... I was told I could choose any way that I wanted to go. If you're inhaling lyrium dust, the user regains a small amount of mana. Only spellcasters can benefit. So, hooray! Sniff drugs, use more magic. That makes sense. It must be some kind of acid. That would be my guess. Let's just get out of here then. And up here. I'm off. Right there. Take another step, and I swear I will strike you down where you stand. Who are you to threaten me? I am Wynne, Mage of the Circle, and these children are under my protection. Who are you, and what is your purpose here? Have the Templars opened the door? Speak quickly. I'll have no games. Oh, but I want, I, I want games. Watch your tone with me, Mage. Oh, what? I've dealt with every demon that has dared to threaten me in my own. You are a lesser menace than they. I doubt that. Knowing you must have been sent by the Templars does not endear you to me. Now I ask again, who are you and why are you here? Oh, fine. Now I have to be somewhat sincere. I'm here to deal with this pesky sorcerer <laughs> once and for all. No. Uh, yeah, I want the help of the mages. And you were told that the circle was in no shape to help you, I suppose. So why did the Templars let you in? Do they plan to attack the tower now? Don't worry, the right of annulment has not arrived. <sighs> they sent for it then. I feared they might have. What else could they do? So Gregor thinks the circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. We... Yeah, I don't... Yeah, we waste time here when there are abominations to kill. If you are here to kill abominations, let me help you. I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Uh, I don't want to say I'm going to help her. She's helping me. You must try to avoid needless slaughter. Yes. Even if we cannot eliminate all the demons and abominations, together we could lead the survivors out. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Fine. Then let's go. You want us to assist this preachy schoolmistress? To rescue these pathetic excuses for mages? They allow themselves to be corralled like cattle. Mindless. Now their masters have chosen death for them, and I say... Let them have it. Uh-oh. Morgan has made her stand. And once she has made a stand, it's hard for me to be nicer than her. So... <laughs> you will do as I say! No, yeah, yeah. You could have been one of them if things were different. <laughs> if that was so, 
Why, I am sure I would have flung myself from the top of this tower years ago. I will allow neither mind nor body be subjugated in such a dehumanizing fashion. You have a point. Perhaps you are right. Of course I am right. Save her. Save them all from this half-life. Your advisor is an apostate. You are more dangerous than I imagined. And you will enter this tower over my dead body. We will give you your wish, old woman. And now I have to fight them. <laughs> oh, I did not see that coming. Okay, sure. Uh, let's kill... Jeez, um, they all have names. Let's kill Win first. Did not expect to fight women. Uh, hopefully I can, I, I can avoid killing the children. Now let's go for all our normal stuff. Uh, On Win. Is she dead? She is dead. Now on to Petra. Because I like saying your name, Petra. And you should die fairly quickly as well. God. Uh, you should heal. Meanwhile, you uh, hit this one. You guys hit this one as well. And you can sunder Keenon's arms. Who are we attacking? Hit. Is she dead already? Holy crap! This is not difficult in the slightest. I mean, it's going real fast, but and we they're, they're getting a lot of damage done to me, but it's not that difficult at all. Wow! I should have come here first, apparently, because this is not difficult. What is that? Is that a trap? Please don't be a trap. Let's go like around it. Okay, it's gone now. Hmm. Garnet, I will take it. I can use that to uh, teach summons. Yes. Sure, that's how that works. Whoa! That is not bad. Can that go on Morgan? It's not that important that she have... Yeah, that's going on Morgan. She's not getting hit very often, so now you can look like a Sherpa, Morgan. I hope you are happy with that. So I have two choices here. I can go through the metal door. It says I can't unlock it anyway, so that is not a choice. Let's go this way then. And we can make it further on with the abominations. Are these things going to be all that difficult? Because uh, based on what I saw with, with those things, they are not going to be. Alright, we have an, a, a desire abomination. Okay, sure, it desires to abominate. That is what it wants to do, so let's just let it do that. Fine. Okay, uh, yeah, these are going to be a little bit more difficult than what I was fighting uh, with the mages. Rage Abomination is next. You go for that, you go for that. Uh, you probably need to come out here to attack, and you hit it with a shattering shot. Well, oh, that didn't do much damage at all. <laughs> and here I was worried. Here I was worried. This, wow. Apparently I have done things out of order. Let's change the camera angle here. I didn't think there was an order. I thought the whole point of this that there was that there wasn't an order, but look at that. Oh, it didn't do damage. That's just them, like, exploding. Okay, pile of books. Give me, give me your pieces of paper. I desire them. There's so many books here. I thought, yeah, I thought the whole purpose of this was that there was no order to, to how you're supposed to complete these quests. That it was, you know, sandbox. But, I damn it. No, holy crap, that is quite a few of them. Rage. Um... Yeah, hit him with a winner's grasp. I didn't even get a chance to level up Alistair. I was going to loot first. Finish. Yeah, lesser rage demon. Those things, I mean, we've seen them, but they're not that tough. Now just keep on hitting that one. You guys will be fine. Pummel strike and the shield pummel should definitely finish that one off. And down it goes in a fiery explosion. 
No, oh, it does do damage to us. It's just really bad damage. Okay. Yes, we are hitting the hunger abomination now. Uh, I guess it is just out of the games or whatever. I don't know. I didn't watch those. I apologize. I know. I know. I'm a terrible person. And down that one goes. Now we're on the lesser rage demon, which we will hit with a winner's grasp because it should be super effective. And that is a Pokemon term, and I'm not afraid to use it. Yeah, come on. Apparently, I have been underleveled before, but I'm easily leveled now. Yeah, this is, uh... This is pretty damn easy. There's no other way for me to put it. But they do explode in my face, in fire, which is not appreciated. 